What up, Flock? This is Coach Evans here. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. Uh, I'm going to try to tackle a subject that's really sensitive in the Ravens community right now. It's Lamar Jackson. Uh, what's going on with Lamar Jackson? Uh, is he pressing for the, you know, for a contract? Is he, you know, not really all in with Roman scheme? Does he not have enough help? Let's let's kind of dive into what happened Sunday and see if we can make a honest uh, educated football, educated opinion about what's going on and, and why he's playing like he is. Cause there are a number of reasons out there and the, the flock is really divided on Lamar Jackson, but let's get into the film part of it. And cause a lot of times the film don't lie. And, um, let's, let's go, let's go. Let's, let's just get into it. Now we're going to start right here. And again, not all the players are bad. We're going to look at good and bad and try to figure out what's going on. Uh, we're not privy to all the communication between the quarterback and the coaches. So we don't, we'll never have a clear picture as fans as what's going on. So all we can do is try to tell a story based off the film, maybe some body language that we see during the game, maybe some slick comments in post-game pressers or in the media or on their IG or, or Instagram or Twitter or whatever. We'll never know the full story. So let's just try to take what the film tells us and see if we can you know, formulate a, an opinion based off that. But again, it's not this film is not a bash Lamar session. It's going to show good and it's going to show bad. And um, we just, let's just get into it. We'll start with this play right here. And this is one of the good plays. His base is good. His uh, his follow through is good. His, his got, he got a guy wide open, which is, you know, I think part of the issue. Like this is probably the most open anybody was in this game. But anytime he throws with a good base and, you know, has a decent pocket, we normally have positive results. Look at his base right here. Solid. Don't have a good follow through. Like I said, likely he's wide open. Caught it in stride, kept going. Nothing wrong with that. He just got to get to a point where he can consistently throw from that base. Take a look at this play here. Got like an empty concept. And you see the different routes on the screen. Uh, the ball goes to the bottom. It's a, it's an overthrow to likely or to Andrews. I'm not really sure, but the top side is kind of the part that bothers me about this. It's obviously the reach there at the top. But let's just run it. And you see, he was looking at the top. He came off of it. Why? I do not know. And then went to the backside. Look at the overthrow. A huge overthrow to, I don't know if he's throwing it likely, Andrews, or what. But again, look at the gray area right there. It's it's one of the, the, the simplest concepts we run in high school. I know they run in college. It's simple. You're reading this guy right here. He's flanking Ricard to the flats. So you just throw, anticipate the throw. Throw in this huge gray area right there. Then you got a guy wide open at the sticks. So if he catches, it's the first down. And then what if he makes this, this free safety miss in the middle? Because the sticks are right here. If he makes this free safety miss in the middle, who knows what could happen. But we get an overthrow to, I don't even know who he's throwing to, honestly. The ball hits the first down marker down here. Oh, no, no, he hits the coach on the side. I thought he hit the first down marker. But still, take take what they give you. He came off too early for, I don't know why is the reason, because it was two on one. They basically high load that guy out there at the top. And see, watch, he'll, he'll look to the left. He's going to look there. Stick with that concept. You already see him chasing Ricard now. Throw right off the right off his ear. But then he changes and comes to the other side. Mm, and just, who he throwing to? Again, no clue. But the footwork and the base wasn't good. Let's look at his footwork. If I'm not mistaken, he's stepping forward, throwing right. Stepping forward, throwing right. See? Stepping forward, throwing right. That's that's not good footwork. Got to be consistent with the footwork. And 
And again, we talk about him throwing with uh, anticipation and then trusting his people. He can do it. This play right here is evident of that. He can do it. Look at Thibodeau drop out of there. Right now, Thibodeau's back is turned to, to the receiver. I think this is DeMarcus. And again, just like on that same play, and it's a similar concept because you see Ricard going to the flats. This is DeMarcus here. You see Ricard going to the flats. Similar concept, but he throws with anticipation this time. His back, Thibodeau's back is turned. Lamar realizes it. That's the open space right there. So just throw to that spot and trust your receiver going to be there. Just trust it, which he does. And he got a good throw. This is one of the better throws of the game. He threw with anticipation, threw with velocity, had good base, had good fundamentals. Let's watch his fundamentals. The drop, the hit step, and turn it loose. Drops good. Rock a step. Rock and fire. Great throw. Great throw. Got to be consistent with it, though. All right, so this play right here is kind of the elephant in the room. Demarcus Robinson going to run, run a double move. He's going to run like a dig and go. You get that right there. And what it is is that safety is going to kind of drop back, and he's going to be the one to see. This, this kid right here is going to be the one that's kind of in that area that he runs the double move on. See that? Here comes the dig. He's flat. The safety's flat-footed. Now, at this point, the safety's coming up. On he's biting on the dig. Throw the ball in that circle, because he can't get back there. Throw the ball in that circle, or you can throw. You could even throw it down here toward the numbers. But get the ball up right now, because he's jumping this this end cut. He's jumping it. Now, see, had he thrown the ball? Look at all this space back here. Had he thrown the ball on that jump? Look at all the space he, because nobody's back here. Nobody's back here on this side of the, the field. Just throw it in the end zone toward the numbers. DeMarcus can go get it. Again, because at the point he needs to throw it, let me go back. He should be throwing the ball. Now, he's not threatened defensively. He's not threatened defensively. Like, he still got time to step up and throw this ball. Why? I don't know. Got to anticipate. Got to anticipate. And now he tries to throw it late, and, you know, the guy recovers. Throw it anticipation, man. That that was a good that was a good play call. That was a good route. The ball just wasn't thrown. Now, we know I've been a big component of take what the defense give you. You know, and sometimes Lamar does that, sometimes he don't. This is one of the plays where I wish he had taken what the defense gave him. So we get, we get this, our favorite, we have Mark's favorite route, the deep crosser. You're going to get a, a little hook or, or curl by DeMarcus at the bottom, and then you get a dig by uh, Duvernay. They call it basic in the NFL, I think. Or at least they used to. And Mark's going to do a great job of adjusting because normally he runs this thing on this plane right here. But because somebody undercuts him, he takes it a little higher, so now Lamar has to put more arc on him and try to get it over the defender into, uh, into Mark which makes it a harder throw. So now your percentages has went down because you got a guy underneath and now you got to get it over the top of that guy and to your guy. In actuality, the easy throw is Duvernay. Watch Mark first. All right, see, see the safety starting to jump down? So Mark's going to adjust this and get over top of it. Watch. See that? Mark had to adjust. Now, that's a harder throw. But look at the purple box. Nobody's there. Throw the ball to Duvernay. It, you got a first down. The first down mark is right here. Duvernay's here. Throw the ball to Duvernay. You don't have to have that. We He keep saying push the ball down the field, push the ball down the field. But this is a first down waiting to happen. It's a first down. Look at, look at Duvernay. Nobody's there. Nobody. Let me back it up so you won't say, you know, that's late. Reading the deep with 24 starting to already go back on, on Andrews. He's already in his back pedal. Already. Really in his back pedal now. He still got the ball. So his back is turned to Lamar. Why not throw the ball in this purple area? Throw the ball right there. That simple. That simple. Take what the defense give you. It's 
all just take what the defense give you. Look at him. Right. Just throw that. Just throw it. Nobody's there. Which is just you gotta, gotta take what the defense give you. Everything's not gonna be home run. And we got this play right here, and we just try to fit the ball in. He's gonna fit this in. Let's cover two. But those two guys are responsible for that area. How are you going to? Well, you could do it, but it's a tight throw. Look at the little the little space. Because both of those guys can probably cover, you know, anything relative in that space that they're circled in. So look at the window that he has to throw the ball in. He has to throw the ball where this arrow is. He has to. That's a tight fit. It's a tight fit. When actuality, and I know is the first down's right here, and he's short the first down, he's trying to get it. I understand that. But still, sometimes it's just better to give the guy a chance and maybe they can make somebody miss. Because this, the percentages of throwing the ball here likely and him making somebody miss are far greater than you dropping this ball in the bucket. Especially with two guys already back there playing it. Just throw that. Now that ball would have to have would have had to been perfectly thrown in this little cone right here for Duvernay to get it. Would have had to be. But again, just just throw it to the guy right in front of you. Give him a chance. You don't have to make the perfect throw. You don't have to be perfect every time. He putting too much pressure on himself to be perfect. Fit balls in where they can't get to. He's just putting too much pressure on himself. I don't know if it's because of the record, the contract, or trying to stay healthy. I don't know. But my thing is, hit likely right here. Hit likely right here. But if you had a better play designer, see how Mark running this 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 little post right here? The one this corner? Mark would run a post and post that thing in the middle. That'll open up everything. Because Smith, I think that's Jalen Smith, he would have to honor Mark and take that. Then you can hit likely with, with, with a head of steam and maybe he can get past the other guy. But the play design is kind of trash. But again, I digress. I appreciate you guys for coming through. I want to say thank you to everybody on this list right here. Um, based off some of the stuff you saw in this film, these people are the ones that are helping provide for that. Uh, also, if you look at all these names scrolling up right now, you'll see others that have contributed to the channel also. And I'm taking that and putting it back into the channel. And I want to say thank you guys for helping to bring new features to the channel. I appreciate you guys. And let's continue to grow together and uh, be educated football fans. And I'll see you guys soon. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me for about 10 to 15 minutes. And enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Hey, let's get better, Flock. Beat the Browns. With the, 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 with